Well, hello, fellow photographers. If you've been bit by the film bug, you probably have miles and miles of color negative film like this sitting around. Now, this could be new film that you've shot recently because, again, maybe you've decided to try shooting analog. Or it could be also old archival film that you shot when you were younger before the days of digital. But all of us still want to kind of get that into the computer so that we can manipulate it and share it. Now, in the past, you would typically use a film scanner or maybe even a flathead scanner for doing this. And those are still both great viable options for doing it, but they're really, really slow, unfortunately. And it's hard to find a good scanner these days. But you've already got devices that you can use to digitize that film already. You can simply use either your phone with the wide angle lens setting, or if you have your regular camera with a macro lens or an attachment that lets you focus closely, you can purchase or build a little jig that holds those color negative films or even black and white film onto a little light table and then you can focus and capture those. The problem is you're going to end up with a photo that looks like this. It is the inverse. It's the negative look and if it's a color film it's also got the integrated color mask, that orange layer to it. And trying to manipulate these photos inside a photo raw in the past or in any, any other raw editor was next to impossible. But we've built a new mode especially for dealing with these kinds of photos. So over here in the tone and color pane, you notice there's a new control right here that says mode. Positive is the default. That's what you get when you shoot a normal photo. But you can see there's now a color negative and a monochrome negative option. So if I pick the color negative option, it inverts the photo and it removes that integrated or that orange mask layer from the photo so that you get the proper color right off the bat. And if you're working with a color or if you're working with a black and white option, just pick the monochromatic negative and it will make it black and white as well. The great thing about this is it's done at the very bottom of the raw processing stack, literally when right after the image has been demosaic before any of the other processing is applied. So all of your other controls work just like they would on a regular raw photo. So exposure is going to work the same way and contrast and highlights and shadows. All the controls that you're used to using are going to work just like they would on a normal raw photo. And you can synchronize these settings across photos as well. So let's say I open up this photo. I could even use the eyedropper tool to sample a gray area within my photo to get just the color that I like. And then I can synchronize that setting across other photos that I shot with the same film stock at the same time. So I can just open up my film strip here. I can grab another photo that was shot at the same time and I'll just synchronize my settings. And then going to that other photo, you can see how it's automatically set color negative mode and set the color temperature and white balance for me to match the other photo. There you go. It's so much easier to actually digitize your color negative or black and white film stocks and then be able to manipulate them, store them, edit them, and share them inside of Photo Raw. Thanks for watching.